All right, we're taking a little break to do some building lights. And I've got a bunch of lights wired up that I'm going to show you later. And to power it, I, went through, I got this tub full of old power supplies. And they've got, always got barrel connectors. Okay, this is not going to work for what I'm doing. I'm not going to go looking for barrels for this plug-in. And they're all different. I'm just going to get rid of it. Don't need it. And I'm going to do... I've chosen blue and yellow to be my plus and my plus minus wires for basically building lights and stuff. All right, so here's the problem. Fortunately for us, inside the old wall ward here, and this one happens, I'll have to show you the lights later, but I mixed some lights, some, some trailer lights for the interior that require more voltage and... I put a bridge rectifier in there for, for lights that require less voltage and stuff. Anyways, this one powers it all up perfect. And what it is, is it outputs. It doesn't even say. I, I measured it, though, with the multimeter. It doesn't matter what. I figured out that it works. What I wanted to do, this thing here, this is why it's in my tub, because it was cracked off. And these wires touch each other in short. They got to go. No problem. And I'm going to unsolder them. And fortunately for us, right here, if you can see, see it says plus and minus. Ah, bonus. Very easy. We'll unsolder this, take this out, and we'll put in the blue and the yellow. But the trick is, how do you get these things open? How do you get this cover off? These molded covers are on there, and they're usually really hard to get off. And you try, I tried pliers and stuff and everything. And then I, I searched on YouTube and I found this guy who repairs these and he has like one video and everybody ripped on him fearsomely because he uses bandsaw and he like accidentally cut off the cord and and then he had cut two sides and all he did was he smacked it with a hammer and came right open. And everybody's like, eh, that's, that's stupid, that's dumb. And he's good. But he's, he was right. Okay, I saw the truth of this and I did the same thing. I took my bandsaw, I cut the end, and I, not this end, I cut, sliced this end a little bit, sliced this one, sliced that one just a little bit, and then I took a screwdriver and popped it right open. Now, you could do this very same thing with a handsaw. If you got one of them exacto saws, all you got to do is cut along the seam. Just cut into it. It doesn't matter because when we put this back together, we'll just goop it in place. Just cut it. You, you take your little exacto saw, cut, 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 cut three sides enough so that you can take something to open it. And one of the things I use a lot to do stuff like that is this painter's multi tool. It's nice stiff steel. I just put it in here, gave it a twist, boom, came open. No problem. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to unsolder these. I'm going to put these wires on here and I'm going to put a couple of, of red spade connectors on the end so it plugs into my terminal strip that's it just cut just cut you'll be fine cut the edge cut the edge cut cut the edge without the cord and you'll be good and then sweet we can solder new wires right here plus and minus and we'll be good to go and then we can save this length of cord with the barrel connector because sometimes you need those barrel connectors for other things that's it open a wall wart cut it don't mess around trying to get it open. Just cut it. And when it goes back together, goop it. And it will be perfect. And later I'll show you the lights.